Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video, my friends, we have to analyze several things. We're gonna have a look into the Bitcoin price because currently on the spot chart, we have a buy signal and also we're gonna cover Ethereum and XRP because XRP currently has like yesterday predicted the run of its life potentially. So we're gonna also cover XRP later on. So first here, we're gonna to start in the Bitcoin price and we again gonna compare it to the CME chart because currently in the lower time frames we have some warning signs on the CME chart but very bullish signs here on the spot chart so here we're gonna start first with the spot chart in the four hour time frame currently you can see that we have a confirmed four hour buy signal and as you can see we are seeing this nice little pump towards our main resistance currently at $34,700 we need a four hour close at least above the 200 moving average in the four hour which is currently at $34,200 in order to have continuation to the upside because otherwise this potential buy signal here could get denied if we are getting rejected at this very very critical point right now so this main resistance that we have here $34,600 could stop the run that we potentially could see in the next couple of hours so what we want to see right now is that we're gonna start to close four hour candles again above the 200 moving average same like we're doing right now on the CME chart and here on the CME chart you can see that we're starting to trade again since it's already Monday and here we got still this sell signal from Friday so let's see if we can deny here this sell signal in the CMEs and get here as well a buy signal so then I would expect here big continuations to the upside because on the CME chart we are still above the main resistance we didn't drop below this resistance trend line like we did on the spot chart and that's why I think we may be gonna see here follow through to the upside also in the spot chart if here in the CME we can get also buy signal and bounce successfully from the 50 level in the RSI and also here we need a four hour close above the nine moving average or also here the 100 moving average right at $35,000 so as soon as we're gonna have a four hour close above this price level in the CME I think that also here on the spot chart we're gonna see follow through to the upside because we are in a very critical point right now my friend so if you want to take this trade if you want to open up a long position then make sure that you're able to scale it in down to $28,000 your long position because we could even fall towards this price level down here before maybe we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside and remember if you want to trade Bitcoin and other cryptos for example like XRP which is booming currently you can do this over on Bybit or Femix if you still need an account make sure to open up one with my referral link down below here because like this you can get some extra money and some extra bonus and currently on Bybit we have this special jackpot bonus going on if you deposit at least 0.01 Bitcoin up to 1.5 Bitcoin you can get up to $500 in bonus so make sure to claim this free money that you can get right now until the 5th of February so take advantage of this my friends because like this you can also do some free trades and as you can see currently I'm scaling in some long positions I'm starting here without leverage as you can see right now without leverage I'm getting a liquidation price of $17,000 and the lower the price is going the more I can add into my long position and of course also my liquidation price will go lower and lower you can for example to make sure that you're not getting liquidated put a trade right before liquidation price so if it's getting hit if we are really coming down to this price level this order would get executed and your liquidation price would be then way below $10,000 so like this it is almost impossible to get liquidated and you have enough time to accumulate and buy more Bitcoin at a cheaper price and at the same time you can scale in your long position because like this once the price is going to skyrocket again you will sitting in very nice profits and also keep in mind that you can change at any time your leverage so here for example with my entry of $1,500 once I'm in profit I can switch for example over to 10x or 100x and I will take out my position margin but the quantity of positions will stay the same so at the end 
the gains will be the same, but I have less money put it into this trade. So that's why my friends always make sure to first enter into a position with as low leverage as possible. And then you can add more into your position and you're in profits to then rise up the leverage because like this, you will never be worried that you're getting liquidated and you never have to monitor the price 24 seven. So even if the price is dropping like 20 or 30%, you can easily scale in more into your position. And longing Bitcoin is always the best because like this, if the price is coming down, you can buy in at a cheaper price and at the same time, you can also make bigger your long position. And now let's go back here into the spot chart and open up the daily time frame because here, as you can see, we are still squeezing between the nine daily and 20 daily moving average. So this is what is concerning me a bit. As long as we are not closing daily candles above the 20 daily moving average right here at our resistance, I'm still a bit neutral, but I still hope that we can break out here to the upside. And as soon as we're gonna have a daily close and also confirmation that this is the new support i think then we're going to start again into our new bull run towards 50 60 000 dollars so on the daily time frame we just have to wait where we're going to close here the daily candles hopefully above the 20 daily if we are starting again to close daily candles below the nine daily moving average so below 33 thousand dollar then i'm pretty confident that we will go straight down to re reset the 50 daily moving average at 30 thousand nine hundred dollar and in the worst case even have a major drop towards our main support down here at around 28 thousand dollar and you can see that also the 100 daily moving average this white line is coming now very close to our main support currently it's right here at $24,000 that would be the next support if $28,000 would not hold and in the daily time frame we also have now the RSI above the 50 level which of course is very bullish we could have here a double bottom which indicates of course that we're gonna see now continuation to the upside and we also got here a buy signal in the spot chart so currently the daily is looking quite bullish even though we still need to close daily candles here above the 20 daily in order to have the absolute confirmation that we will see follow through to the upside and same thing here on the CME chart we are still squeezing between the 20 and 9 daily moving average the good thing is here that we are trading above the previous resistance which now should be acting as a new support also we got here a buy signal and we're trading above the 50 level in the RSI so also here on the CME chart the only last thing that need to be fulfilled in order to have confirmation that we will go towards $42,000 and higher is that we're starting again to close daily candles above the 20 daily moving average and yeah we can also go over into the weekly time frame to update here the moving averages you can see here the nine weekly right now is at thirty thousand six hundred dollar so here we should have enough support in my opinion if we're gonna lose this support and watch out here for the 20 weekly moving average right now at around twenty two thousand dollar so that means that if we're gonna have a major drop this is the price level where i'm going to buy in again with big sizes and also scaling more into my long position if we wouldn't see right now follow through here to the upside so the good thing here in the weekly time frame is that the moving averages are coming higher and higher that means that if we're gonna see a bigger sell-off we wouldn't fall that much i think 20k is still possible but i think the 20 weekly moving average is really the main support right now that we have and which we should keep a very close eye on if we're gonna see a major sell-off which in my opinion at the moment it's a bit less likelier but of course we still can go down to cool off here the rsi down to the 50 level before maybe we're gonna stop with this correction and then start again the parabolic move to the upside but already this healthy correction that we had down to the nine weekly moving average in my opinion is already very healthy and this could be already the end of this correction and we could now gear up for another big move to the upside that is possible my friends and also if we go over into the monthly time frame you can see that currently we have the nine monthly moving average which also in the past always acted as a very strong support is right now at around nineteen thousand three hundred dollar so as i told you already many videos my friends if we're dropping towards 20k that would be really the last resort of the bulls where everyone most likely is going to buy as much as they can because it makes very much sense that we would bottom out if we're going to see a major sell-off here in this region towards 20k now also the nine monthly moving average is now at this price level 
So Bitcoin right now is looking quite bullish even in the lower time frames, but we want to see now closes above the 200 moving average in the four hour and even better daily closes above the 20 daily moving average in order to have confirmation that we will go towards higher levels. And I think we could see this potential breakout to the upside pretty soon. If we're starting to close four hour candles again below this $34,000 area or maybe even worse below 33,000 then I think we could see a major drop towards our main support currently at around 30k to $28,000 and there we're going to have to see if we are getting another bounce or not but since we have now this buy signal it's not a very good one but at least we have now a buy signal in the four hour i think the chances are good that we're going to break out here to the upside but of course keep in mind that we are just at the resistance and currently we're getting rejected so as long as we're staying in this region and fight the resistance everything is looking good that we're going to break out to the upside but be sure that if here we are starting to close again one hour candles below 34 or 33 thousand dollar and even worse close four hour candles below this price level we most likely gonna lead into this drop towards 30 to 28 thousand dollar so let's wait and see where we're gonna close the next couple of four hour candles currently i'm scaling in some longs let's see if this is going to play out so if we're dropping towards 30k or 28 thousand dollar i'm gonna keep my long opened and i will put more into my position because as you can see if you go without leverage there is almost no risk to get liquidated and now let's first have a look here into the ethereum price because ethereum is still struggling here to go towards its resistance right now at around 1540 as you can see we're just seeing pump and dumps here but the good thing is that we're still staying within this channel here let's see if this is going to end up in an ascending triangle which of course is a bullish sign and we will go towards 2k in case that we can break out here to the upside from 1480 dollars but if here on this red trend line we are getting rejected and we are not able to push higher then this formation could also end up in a big rising wedge and rising wedges are bearish patterns that means that then most likely we should expect a breakout here to the downside and if we close here four hour candles below the support where also the 200 moving average is lining up here in the four hour then we're gonna go straight towards the bottom here of around 900 dollars and then potentially even lower towards our previous support area here between 780 to 620 so currently ethereum is still trading sideways and also here we have to wait for a clear breakout above the resistance or below the support and we can also have a look here into the daily time frame because daily time frame is still looking bullish we're closing above the 20 daily moving average at 1280 dollars only the nine daily moving average is a bit of a resistance right now i want to see here daily closes above the nine daily moving average in order to have confirmation that we are still in an uptrend here the good thing is that we have the rsi now down to the 50 level so we should also here see very soon a big breakout to the upside and then hopefully also break this resistance that we could have here at $1,550. And before we're gonna wrap it up, my friends, we're gonna have a look into XRP because currently it's having the run of its life. Yesterday we covered that there were rumors that today the Wall Street bets people are gonna pump XRP. And as you can see, we had a big run up here from 25 cents up to 70 cents. If you traded this with a long or you bought XRP, then congratulations to your gains make sure to lock in the profits put a stop loss if you're longing xrp or if you bought big stacks of xrp make sure to take all of some profits out at least your initial investment because these big pumps that we're seeing like this usually are not very sustainable so they can easily dump as fast as they pumped so make sure to lock in profits my friends congratulations if someone took this trade opportunity yesterday i told you that there were rumors i also took a little xrp long because i don't own any more xrp but i took a long position just to ride it up if the pump would happen and right now i'm also scaling up my long position and also always rise up my stop loss so as soon as it's starting to dump i'm getting stopped out i will take out my profits and I'm done with that because keep in mind that usually this coin is always a pump and dump so that means we pump go sideways and then immediately dump down where we started again and usually these fast pumps always also results in a fast dump so make sure that you lock in the profits whatever happens right now it can even go to one dollar 
but it can also go straight again back down towards 20 cents. So let's see where XRP is going, my friends. I'm not a fan of XRP, that's why I'm also not holding, but I took this long trade just because of the rumors and now I'm just watching where it's going. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. A big shout out again to our great crypto community over on Discord. This is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator where we trade the three hour buy and sell signals. If you want to get access to my buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, then make sure to contact me over on Discord. For a little donation, you can get access to this indicator. It's not completely for free, but the chat you can join completely for free and everyone is welcome. So make sure that you're joining our great family over there. And of course, also here on YouTube, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tick the little bell so you will never miss out on any updates because I do daily TA videos and I always keep you updated. This is very important, especially for newcomers. And also check out all the links that you find down below here in the video description, because there you find the exchanges that I'm also using, the recommended exchanges, and also if you're using my signup links, you will get some extra cash so you can buy even more cryptos with that money. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.